Hi, it's Rachel Beddingfield here, and in this film we're going to look at three foundation behaviours that are really good to get your young foal off to a good start. Now in this film we're looking at Claire Waldron, who is the director of our centre Positive Horse Training Spain, and she's working with Maverick, our mule, who was 10 months old when we filmed this. So the three behaviours we're going to look at are standing at a target, which is equivalent to tying up, and touch acceptance, which means he's happy to be touched all over, and wearing a head collar so that we can, as preparation for leading and other head collar work. What are you starting with, Claire, today? At the moment, I'm just standing with him while he's got, he's got some food in the bucket already, which is a mixture of some chopped up hay and nuts, so he doesn't get too excited about the food. And just making sure he can just be nice and relaxed with me he's not pushing he's not um you know mugging me for food or anything and i'm just touching him all over just to make sure he's nice and relaxed with that the cone is there at the moment it's good having the cone and the bucket together because he will then associate the feed with the cone and that's just a simple classical association and um, so one of the first things you can do is just put the feed bucket next to a cone and the cone will start to become a station he wants to go to and so you're already beginning to train the stationary target even uh, without doing anything there's no bridge or anything involved so does he know a bridge signal yet or have you been working without one he's familiar with the click yes is that the clicker or a tongue click Click yeah. we've been using with him, so it's not quite so sharp. Yeah. Um, I think we did start to put the click in with an actual clicker, and he got a bit, little bit excited about it. So with a tongue click, it's softer, it's quieter, it's it's a more relaxed sound yeah. to him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it works better. That's quite, good. The flies are out today as well. Yeah, it is a bad fly day, and <laughs> oh, it is so nice. In the, in the treat pouch here, I've, again, I've got a mixture of nuts and hay. Okay. Nuts. Yeah, so you're just uh, chopping up hay yourself. You're not yeah. buying any chopped hay or anything. Just taking yeah. their normal hay and chopping yeah. it up. Yeah. Why? And um, why are you feeding him in the bucket rather than by hand? Because he's only 10 months old. He's not actually... He's, he's not really learnt to take food from our hands. But because he's so young... And he's a boy, he had started to get a little bit bolshy and running into us all the time. So we'd much prefer it if his focus was on the bucket and instead of on us. So it, gives, it takes the attention off of us. Yeah. Better. Well, how is his touch acceptance? Because one of the first things you, you need to work on with a young animal is that you can touch them all over and that they're happy for you to move around them. So we'll just see where you're at with it, Claire. If you want to... Tell us what it feels like and how relaxed okay, you feel he is. His legs. And obviously because he was born here, he's been used to human touch from a, you know, a, from a few days old. Um, so this is very good. Even though he was even though he was castrated last week, I can still come round his back end, touch his legs, go down his legs. And he's just happy with his munch and his food. What a good boy. What a good boy. On this side. So he's paying attention to you with his ears, um, but he is also paying attention to his food. Um, he feels like a very sleepy meal today. Oh, that's he's quite nice. Very relaxed. Nice to work with them when they're relaxed. How is he with his head collar and? Uh, yeah, it's over here. I'm just, I'll just, we'll just. Yeah, that was great, and that was a good catch. Yeah. What a good boy, that was a long way away. Yeah, so he's already associating the target with the food. And, um, and you don't even need to train it as such. You just watch for the moments like that when he goes, oh, what's this? And it, that becomes, uh, that is the training. In other words, you don't need to point it out, encourage it, anything else. Just respond to them understanding that, oh, the target is there. Now that was very nice. So he's very happy about being having his head collar put on. Good boy. 
I'm sorry about the wind noise, folks. Yeah. It's just coming straight at us here into the phone. One thing he does need to learn about is pressure from the head collar on his face. Yeah. That when he's walking, he doesn't. He gets a bit worried yeah. about it. So that's one thing we're going to work on with the leading. Yeah. Um, and for him to understand that it's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. But also to respond to the slight pressure of the head collar, because that's the point of it. Um, both in terms of coming forward and turning his head from side to side. But again, we'll use the target to teach all that. Um, so we'll be teaching the pressure cues or tactile cues, as I prefer to see them, because we train them positively. Um, and so it's a positive association in the brain, not a pressure release association. I prefer to call them tactile cues. And whether that's a tactile cue with your hand or a piece of tack, um, it's basically the same thing. So we'll get the behaviour first without pressure um, and just teach the uh, tactile feel of the head collar as a cue. He's looking lovely. He's feeling super today, really relaxed, really chill. And with young horses, it's really important to keep the sessions so short and sweet. So would you normally think that's a good time to stop, Claire? Definitely. I'd yeah. give him an extra jackpot now. Yeah, yeah. Even though he's not finished what's in the bucket, he's so relaxed and calm. I'll be giving you yeah, the extra Great. jackpot. Super. That'll do you, mister. Such a good boy. Very chill, Mav. Very chill. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed that video why not check out all our blogs at connectiontraining.com. Also we have a membership club where we have a full suite of step-by-step -step videos in our home study courses where you can learn the techniques that we've used in the video you've just watched. Monthly membership also gives you access to a student forum, special blogs and a monthly Q&A with Hannah Weston and I where you can ask your questions directly to us. So why not hop along to connectiontraining.com and have a look round. Thanks for watching.